morning and welcome back to part 16 of S3 service playlist. So in this video, we are going to learn that what are access points. So let's start. So now let's take the introduction of access point. So security management for S3 is simplified by access points. So if we use access points and the security management is simplified in our S3 service, every access point have their own domain name and a policy. So every access point has their own two things, which is first its own domain name and a policy attached to it. We can define the VPC origin access point to be accessible only within the VPC. You have to create a VPC endpoint to access the access point. So if we want to access our access point, then we need to create a VPC endpoint for it. VPC endpoint policy must allow the destination bucket and the access point. So if we create a VPC endpoint, then the policy of the VPC endpoint must allow the access of our destination bucket and the access point. Now let's talk something more about the access points. So we have to create access point for each application and user that requires access to our objects which are stored in our existing bucket so let's say we have a bucket and we have many objects stored in it so for every different user you need to create a different access point so they can be easily able to access our objects which are there in our bucket then next we have to configure permissions per access point to limit the public access so we have to also provide the permissions to our access point so uh, we can limit the public access and restrict access by objects prefix and object tags. Next, we can also limit access to VPC. You can create access points that limit all S3 storage access to a virtual private cloud. And last, it is easily to scale your access points. Access points are easy to scale as you build more applications for your large shared data sets. So that's it for the access points. Now let's take some more real-time example of the access point. So this is the real-time example of our access point. So let's say that we have a bucket and in the bucket we have stored the events of our store. We have two different customers. One is the sales event customer and second is the inventory event customer. So for both customers, we have to create a different access point so they can access our objects accordingly. So for the sales event customer, we'll make a sales event access point and for the inventory event customer, we'll make the access point accordingly. So for all the users, we have to create a different access points so they can access their objects accordingly. So this is how you have to create access points for different users for different purposes. So that's it for the video. Meeting you in the next video.